Hello Internet! Welcome back to our Cataclysm tutorial series. I know I had said I was going to take a break from recording and I decided not to do that and for two main reasons. Number one, because I keep saying that um, this is not broken. I believe it's still in a playable state. So it seems kind of crappy of me to say, oh, it's not game breaking and then not record uh, because I don't like the way things are set up right now. So I felt a little bit bad about that. Obviously, if I'm going, I should practice what I preach, right? I do believe the game is in a playable state and I believe we can work around it. I just didn't want to do that because I'm lazy and easily annoyed, but we're going to be doing it anyway. Um, so I recorded those other episodes like two days ago. I've already decided I'm going to record anyway. Number two is because I don't have footage, frankly. So we just concluded our Fallout series on the channel and I don't have anything right now to go up. So if I hold off on Cataclysm for a few days, there will be a few days of no recordings whatsoever, which is not good. I see we're wielding a tin can uh, for some reasons. Go ahead and dump that. Let's see. Uh, so the game has been updated. Things change all the time. Let's see if they fix anything. So if we go into our eat menu. Ooh, well, I mean, there's more here than there was before. Protein rations. So everything is not collapsed, which is a bummer. Um, so it may just be that it appears to be more stuff because it's not collapsed. No, this looks like a lot of our things. Um, again, we lost all that canned chicken and stuff, unfortunately. So if we look here, we have all the MREs. They appear to still be contained properly. Tin cans. Uh, so here we have pork and beans. So if we look for pork and beans, does it display in this menu? It does. So we no longer have to pick things up to eat them. So that is nice because that's honestly, it was only like two days ago. So, uh, to see that change already is nice. Uh, yeah, we're seeing that things are not collapsed, but at least they're displayed in this menu now. Um, so that is good and presumably cans are not being opened. So if we go back to our eat menu and we go to pork and beans, uh, they are going to go bad. So basically everything that was contained in a can is still not contained in a can. Um, or rather they're not sealed. So here we have sealed jars. The glass jars should be fine, but the canned goods are not. So if I look for pork and beans in this menu, you'll see it's in a medium tin can. Problem is this can is no longer treated as sealed. So uh, they're going to go bad because if we look in this menu, it has one day until it goes bad unless we're... Let's search for beans instead so we get more than one item. Yeah, the fact that they're color-coded teal means that they're not in a sealed can. So that is not good. Um, unfortunately, that is... A lot of our storage was uh, long-term canned goods. And we no longer have that. It looks like our main source of long-term food is now going to be MREs and we're never going to be able to consume all this stuff before it goes bad unfortunately so we're full we're overweight we're going to be eating a lot of calories to try and um, take advantage as much of this as we can because otherwise they're gonna they're gonna go bad so yeah again I, I still feel that this is in a playable state so we're going to be playing the game uh ah yes we probably should now that we two gallon jugs of water presumably full how do i view their contents rigid contains a liquid pocket one contains 15 water so they are full gallons uh so let's make some clean water since things are in a, a little bit better state here and we're going to need a source of of water anyway let's go ahead and start a fire and we'll make some clean water. Um, good time to mention my niece is at the house. Normally I don't record when she is here because I'm afraid she will call someone by name. But I was thinking about it. Pour in the container. We should have some gallon jugs laying around to the northwest. Yeah, that is our beverage pile. So let's verify that we can drink this without having issues. Water. Clean water 15. Still needs some work, um, but at least we can tell from the quantities that these are, for instance, in plastic bottles. Um, this is the gallon of unclean water, and this is the gallon of clean water. Why? And it's also not displaying them based on location, because this water is two to our west, whereas this clean water jug is under our feet. So that could lead to some issues as well, but should be fine. I do like um, when they display by location. 
So like if I'm trying to eat something and I'm on a pile, it'll say like um, Southwest and then it'll list food and then it'll say South and list food. That way you can easily separate your canned goods from your non-canned goods and you can guarantee you're not accidentally eating canned food. But like, I mean, it's not super relevant, but it is something I like. Oh, and it's still closing the consume menu after every consumption, which is a, a bummer. That was a quality of life thing. It's been broken before. Um, so it's not a super big deal. And it's pretty recent. Like two years ago, we didn't have that anyway. It would close every time you ate something. So, yeah, my niece is here. Um, I think for the most part, it should be fine. She doesn't really refer to people by name. She refers to my brother as dad, of course, or daddy, rather. Um, we're looking forward. Do we have computer books in our inventory? We do not. Uh, it is nighttime. We are deaf. Yeah, so that's another issue is that we're still deaf. Um, it's not listing anything here as to why we would be deaf. We had that issue because we were wearing, oh, now we're wearing noise canceling headgear. Okay, that's why we were deaf. Because uh, maybe maybe that was just my mistake all along, but I thought when we had earbuds in, it said we still had earbuds in even when we didn't. So, okay, I don't remember if we slept recently or not. But we're going to, because it's nighttime and we have this nomad negative, uh, we're going to head away from here and just read some books to pass some time. Our focus is pretty high, so we probably did sleep recently. So we're looking for a computer something. Nope, we're looking for... Uh, didn't I have compute come computer science 301? Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and sort this pile? Because we haven't done... Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Uh, oh, he's going out to sort invalid terrain ID door shutter. <sighs> I wish people would not change IDs. There's no reason to change the IDs. Uh, oh, looks like they still function. So I'm not sure what that message about IDs was. Usually what that means is that someone changed... Basically, everything in Cataclysm has two things. It has a name and an ID. A name is what is displayed in-game, and an ID is like the actual technical name of it. It's just a way to think of that. Uh, I didn't mean to sort out our 556. So we're looking for 556. We want to carry some of this with us. Take like, I don't know. Okay. A hundred. No, a hundred rounds with us. So we will, we have a book. We should eat and drink something to get our mood up. Just have a swig of beer before we go. That'll help uh, take off some of the negative morale we get. And we will grab our MP3 player, which is almost dead. Let's go ahead and swap batteries on that while I'm thinking about it. Go ahead and unload. Drop that here. We're down here. Drop this. Grab a full battery, preferably a high capacity one. Yes. And reload the MP3. Great. And we'll head up to a nearby location to read. Um, just We just want to get away enough that our nomadic restlessness is not an issue. Because that's, that's going to be a hugely negative thing. I'm noticing it's not... Okay, now it's going down. I was going to say we're pretty far away and it doesn't seem to be changing at all. Minus one. Yeah, this will do. We'll pop in here. Oh, we already set this up. Well, that's good. Let's go ahead and grab a plank. Start a fire here. Plank. Boring, I know, but what are you going to do? Not like we can do anything else during the nighttime. Uh, our only real option is to read or to loot and uh with the containers messed up i don't see any reason to gather food because my general thinking is that if we go looting and we pick up more canned goods they're all going to be busted if we wait like a week and they get that sorted out and then go loot they should be sealed again so we shouldn't have that issue of course we've been throughout this town so much that everything's already generated anyway uh, most things are already generated so like most of the canned goods are already going to be ruined in the area but uh what are you gonna do? That's what happens when you uh, when you play experimental. It is what it is. It's not a big deal. Yeah, my niece is here. Yeah, so she calls like her dad, daddy, my brother, daddy, and she calls my grandfather, who is here currently, uh, pop. 
So I don't need to worry about her saying their names. The only name she would say is my name uh, because I am uncle first name. Uh, and I'm a little concerned about that because I know there are some of you out there who are just waiting for a slip up. You just want to know my first name so you can track me down, one of you jokers, and stalk me. So we don't want, I'm kidding, of course, we don't want uh, that to happen. So hopefully she doesn't come shouting my name or, or barging into the room or anything. You're just, you're just lying in wait. You're like, man, if we can just get his first name, he's revealed mild geographical details about himself. He said he's been as far south as Alabama. He said he's been as far west as Kansas. He must be on the East Coast somewhere. We can track him down. He complained about Humble Bundle, so we know Humble Bundle has his personal information. So if we infiltrate Humble, Bum Humble Bundle's servers, we can track down Murder's real name. <sighs> yeah, so that's clearly your evil plan. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't really believe any of that. Um, but it's it's weird to record with her here because she she I don't think she knows I do this. So like, oh man, our focus is twenty four. I gotta assume the nomadic restlessness. Man, it's so crazy how quickly your nomadic restlessness builds up. Um, we did forget to put in the earbuds, so that's like a huge factor here. It's only five in the morning. The sun should be coming up soon, so we'll just head back to base. Man, that freaking nomadic thing is like, I'm, I am I want to remove it, but we don't have the means to remove it. And even if we did, we would risk losing the high night vision perk. Again, this is why I hate mutating is because it's never good. It's always some good balanced with some bad. And it's always like the bad is way more potent than the good. So like we could take the ursine serum, for instance... Um, which can make us very strong, can give us more HP, can can do a lot of cool stuff. But at the same time, it can give us a trait called carnivore, which means we can only eat meat products. If we eat anything that's not meat, we will get sick, kind of like our lactose intolerant, except it applies to literally everything except for meat. And that trait is enough that the game becomes absolutely unplayable. And if you can't remove it, I would just kill the character and stop playing. It's absolutely, it's horrible. I hate carnivore. All the food-based mutations are, in my opinion, very, very bad. Um, so anytime you mutate, it's like, yeah, you can get some good stuff, but the horrible, horrible negatives are so powerful. Now, Nomad is like minus 20 to mood. It's not crazy. It's not like it's something that you're going to kill yourself or not be able to work or something, but like minus 20 is nothing to sneeze at. That is tanks your focus, and it's hard enough to keep focus anywhere reasonable. Because everything you do drains focus. Um, sun's coming up. Let's eat to try and consume some of this food before it goes bad. We left the fire burning down here, which was not good. Um, so it says canned beans, but it says they go bad in two days. So I gotta assume that they're not in a sealed can. We'll know in a couple days when all this starts to rot. Just some loose pickles? What? What? Okay, uh, so let's look for things that have a high calorie count. It'd be nice to be able to search by calorie count, but that's not something that really comes up very often. We have seven crackers. Where did I get crack? They're not from the MRE, are they? This is all junk food. Where's like the real food? Fast noodles? I mean, I would cook them first. Let's, let's do some cooking. You know what? We have all these cans that are open. Let's make some pasta. Because we have pasta and all this red sauce is going to go bad. All we can make is boiled noodles. But I have red sauce. Oh, our cooking is terrible. I've never... Yeah, we've never leveled our cooking. Yeah. Um, we have five fast noodles. I mean, the pasta is not really going to go bad. The red sauce would, which is why I wanted to make this. So we look for noodles. You'll see they last for uh, like three months, basically. Or rather, three seasons, which is like, we're not going to play that long. I'm going to lose interest way before that. So they're never essentially going to go bad. So there's no reason to do that. What, what do we have that's going bad? I mean, this stuff all will keep for a long time. So it's just the red sauce and the beans, really. And tomatoes. Corn we can convert to seeds. Let's do that. Corn... Uh, corn seeds can't do it. 
you require corn. I have corn. It just said I have corn. Corn? Yeah, it's right there. Two, two corn. I don't understand. Uh, unless it's in a can and it's displaying it as a, not being in a can. Medium tin can of corn. Let's pick up this corn. Corn. Yeah, it's it's open. So why can't I access the corn that's inside of it? Activate uh, corn. No options available. I thought if you activated the can, it would remove. No, we unload. Uh, unload can of corn. Medium tin can is already empty. Then why does it say of corn? Medium tin can. Well, where did it put? Okay, so it put the corn in our inventory. So can I make corn seeds? Okay, it's clearly in my inventory. We have corn. I don't... <laughs> I'm looking at the corn. Drop the can, maybe. Now we we still have the corn in our inventory. Can't can't make corn seeds. I have corn. It might be a different item called corn, but that would be real dumb uh, to have two items of the identical same name. Uh, can't even make like cornmeal or anything out of it because it doesn't think I have any corn. I don't I don't really understand what's going on with that. Doesn't really matter. Uh. Okay, go ahead and eat the raw corn. <laughs> you eat your corn. Did that maybe do something with our inventory that makes it available? Nope, okay. So go ahead and eat the raw corn. Whatever. Uh, and we'll cook something with beans, I guess. So we'll go to crafting menu, C colon beans. This will show everything with the beans as a component. Okay, quite a lot, actually. Curry is delicious. I've not had curry in a very long time. I live in a very rural area where there's not exactly a lot of like ethnic food places. It's really only fast food. We have a Chinese restaurant, but it's run by Japanese people and it's not very good food. Um, which I just think is, is, is an odd thing in America where like, no matter where you go, if it's some kind of like a specific, like country's food, it's almost never run by people from that country. So like I literally I know of like three Chinese restaurants. Only one of them is run by people from China. Um, the other one is run by I believe it's Laotian, and then the other is run by some Japanese folks. It's like it's just odd to me. Like it's like you go to a taco place. There are some that are run by you know like we we have a, a large Mexican population in my area. So some of them are run by people from Mexico. Some of them are run just just old white dudes running taco stands and it's not like i'm not saying you can't make authentic ethnic food if it's not part of your ethnicity but like it just surprises me every time i see something like that um so like there's no like indian food in my area it's impossible to find that kind of stuff just doesn't exist we have like small taco stands a couple chinese restaurants and then that's the rest is just fast food so Anyway, curry is delicious is my point. Hopefully that didn't sound offensive in some way. Uh, it's always weird to talk about, you know, like race or nationality in any capacity because you always feel like someone's going to take what you said the wrong way no matter how innocuous it was. Anyway, let's make some food. So what does curry require? Okay, beans, vegetables. We would use the lentils probably and it would use up the tomato that we have. Also requires our dehydrated meat, though. That requires quite a lot of investment. It would be a very high number of calories. Probably in the neighborhood of 700, 800 calories. Um, how long does it stay good? I, we're five days. I was going to say curry seems like something that would stay for a while. Um, we can make two of them. Yeah, well, let's make some, some curry. We'll make some curry with meat. Go ahead and use the lentil. Oh, no, use the beans, of course, because that's what we were looking to get rid of. Hopefully we don't fail to craft. Um, we, do, we don't have any additional components, so if we fail to craft, we're actually just screwed. 
Um, I didn't take a look at the skill level required. They were choking on the smoke. Always exciting when you're trying to cook and you choke on the smoke. My God, you mess up and lose 3%. Okay. Oh, it's liquid? Why? <laughs> Why is it a liquid? It's curry with meat. It's not... Maybe they just mean it's like curry sauce. It's not actually... I What I was thinking is like big cubes of meat with curry poured over top of them. This might actually just be a curry sauce that has some meat in it, like... You would get like a bolognese sauce or something. So I don't I don't know what to make of that. But let's go ahead and pour it into a container, I guess. Uh, we can just slap that in a medium tin can. Oh, medium open tin can. Yeah, something still wonky going on with these things. But that should do. You pour your meat hot into the medium opened tin can. Did that put it in our inventory? It did not. So let's look for, uh, actually this would be on the beverage pile because that's where I've been dumping my cans probably. So we're looking for curry. Oh, it did go on the food pile, great. So we'll look for curry. This says, what? This doesn't say that it's gonna spoil. Okay, pick that up. Why is it two medium can? Okay, uh, curry. Curry with meat. Medium open tin can of curry with meat. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Pick that up. Wield it. Eat it. It's 300 calories. Why though? We put meat into it. It had beans in it. 381 calories. Sorry, I know this in, it, it, this episode is not very entertaining. Um, it went with beans. Tomato dehydrated meat and curry powder okay so beans no just regular beans no go to the eat menu beans 200 calories from beans dehydrated we don't have any more dehydrated meat so we can't look at the calorie content but surely it's several hundred because it's meat and then what was the other thing tomato Okay, I know there were tomatoes here. Don't lie to me. Uh, we used up all the tomatoes, which were not a lot of calories. But dehydrated meat is a lot of calories. How did it only come out to be 381 calories? I must have mathed wrong in my head, I guess. Go ahead and just eat it. That was a huge time investment for something that's not valuable. Um, so we haven't really talked about this, I don't think. Um, cooking in Cataclysm is like... Uh, not incentivized in most cases so uh a lot of times it's better just to eat the raw ingredients than to spend a lot of time crafting something um certain items do get more calories from being cooked most that last i checked anyway most of them don't uh so a lot of times cooking is just a big waste of your time uh, and energy and again if you fail to cook something you lose all the ingredients it can be very fury like absolutely infuriating to have that happen. How many more cargo spaces do I have? None. That doesn't seem right. All of our drugs were left behind. Okay, we have four cargo carriers. Let's pop these trunks out of here. Uh, roof, bet, nope. Uh, trunk, yes. Remove the empty trunks. We'll play, replace those with cargo carriers because they can accommodate much more space than the trunks can. Uh, about 90 more uh, liters than the trunks can, can store. On the plus side, the trunks are made of frames. So if you ever can't find cargo carriers, you can make trunks reliably just by, by putting frames in the vehicle. Uh, so we'll go ahead and install cargo spaces for a little extra space. We're also gonna peel some of the boards off and make them into stow boards. I may even remove the heavy boards and replace them with regular boards. That'll lighten the vehicle up slightly. Uh, why cargo? Uh, requires a welder. We're out of battery. Okay. Unload the battery. Drop the battery. Oh, that's right. We were having issues with getting our batteries to, to charge. How is that going? Um, yeah, quite a few batteries need charge. So that's going to take a bit of time, I think. Because we were noticing... Some issues. How are we doing on gasoline, by the way? I've been running this a lot. We're virtually out of gasoline. Oh, 
let's go for a drive. Give me my, give me my tools. Need a hose. 17 rubber hoses. That's right, we were gathering them for crafting. Uh, we'll take gallon. Do we have extra? Do we have extra gallon jugs? No. Uh, we can just fill directly into our vehicle. It's a little annoying to do that. Sometimes you can't quite park where you need to park, but should be okay. So we'll run this up here in search of gas. We did find a gas station, uh, but if I remember right, there was quite a horde about, and we really don't want to uh, have to drive up there and deal with a horde just to get some gas. So we're just gonna run up here. I think we've actually depleted a lot of the gas in the area, unfortunately. Let's just head straight north. Okay, quite a lot of uh, stuff blocking our way here, so we'll back up a little bit. We'll go this way. Don't hit the bike. Bike didn't do anything to you. Head up this way. Yeah, just uh, run. That's a tree. It's a tree. Don't hit trees. Tree didn't do anything to you. They're nature's uh, oxygen makers. Be nice to trees. Save a tree, eat a beaver. Okay, so let's uh, head up here. This vehicle might have some gas in it. Seems unlikely we probably already drained it. Yep, bad tanks on it, so we'll just press up. Hopefully find some more vehicles with uh, little interference from enemies. Destroys the leather belt, not a concern. Let's pull alongside this one. We're seeing a lot of enemies resurrecting is interesting. Might be a necromancer or something or uh not a necromancer a master maybe or something resurrecting or it could just be that we happen by of course you don't have gas in you there's quite a lot of vehicles up here though so we hopefully should find something hopefully it's not all wreckage a lot of it is wreckage okay well oh are we at the ball field what is this oh it's a motel Oh, yeah, we did talk about motels having uh, water for, uh, pools. So if you're looking for water, that can be a, a good place to go. Where am I seeing these enemies? West, east, east, west in a house. Okay, skeletal brute. Um, we've talked about skeletons briefly just to say what they were. Brutes are upgraded versions. No, stop. Stop the engine. Uh, brutes are upgraded versions. They're similar to all the other brutes. Basically, brutes have the knockback ability. If they punch you, you will be fl knocked backwards. These skeletons have the added benefit of more armor than your standard brute, uh, so they can be a little difficult. They're already difficult in melee. I would basically recommend you never, ever melee a brute. Fill nearby Humvee. Fill it to 60 liters. Well, that's a bug uh, because it had five liters in it and we pulled five liters out of it and it gave us 60 liters. So that's a bug, uh, but great. We've <laughs> solved our need for gasoline. So what are you gonna do? It's not like I'm gonna dump it out to, uh, <laughs> to play without cheating or exploits or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, so yeah, we got our, our gas. Okay, well, that saves me from having to deal with the brute. Yeah, so Brutes have the knockback ability. They're basically something you should never engage in melee. Um, this, by the way, the longer your vehicle is, the harder it is to navigate narrow spaces like this is part of the reason why I was having so much trouble hitting the tree and whatnot. You need to make wide turns, and you need to watch that your back end doesn't kick out when you make those turns. And uh, yeah, Brutes, uh, do not engage them in melee. Uh, once you have a gun, you know, it's pretty trivial to just kite them. Some of them are pretty fast, but for the most part, you should be just fine if you pay attention to your stamina and have your gun out. If you don't have a gun, uh, I really would recommend just running away. Uh, I never would encourage you to melee a Brute uh, unless you're like me and just doing something for like poops and giggles in a video or something. Um, just can't recommend that you, you fight those in melee. And then tanks, of course, are the, the highest tier upgrade. Um, the things that will turn into brutes, it's uh, skeletons, shockers, and tough zombies mostly, if I recall correctly. I think fat zombies might have a chance to. No, they don't. That's not correct. Um, but basically, any zombie can eventually become a brute, can eventually become a tank. 
So if you see a regular zombie over and given enough time, that could potentially become a brute. Um, skeletons evolve, skeletons, skeletal, skeletal brutes, skeletal juggernauts. Um, no, not skeletal juggernauts. Yeah. Is that what they're called? I actually can't remember now. I'm blanking. I feel like they're called something else. But they're juggernauts. Uh, you'll recognize them in this particular tile set. They're the coolest sprite in the whole tile set, in my opinion. Um, we should call the episode, even though we've done not really anything. Uh, so let's turn this engine on to get this charging. Turn on charger. Turn on engine. Why Why did it fill my, my gas tank like that? I don't know why that's happening but uh definitely a bug definitely a bug what are you gonna do uh so we're gonna let those charge for a little bit we're gonna continue reading even though it's gonna mangle our our focus which is already terrible 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 nomadic restlessness yeah that's not gonna be going away uh also wait a minute why is we just put our earbuds in and they're already giving us a plus 20 to our morale That should be a gradual buildup over time. That shouldn't be an instant plus 20. I don't know what's going on. Uh, obviously, again, with uh, some of the major changes coming to the game over recently is, is doing some wonky stuff. Uh, potato chips are very high positive. What is this? Toastum's very high positive. Sugary cereal, very high positive. So we're still not full, so we'll keep eating mood boosters, graham crackers. Oh, nope, misread the line there. My mistake. No, it's another toast and we can't really do that. Um, go ahead and eat some Necco wafers. Still not full or anything. Chicken and dumplings. Why are you on the drink pile? I guess it's like a soup. Go ahead and eat some of that. Because that's a lot of calories I don't want to go to waste. So we eat that. And then we will have some beer, pale ale, and we'll even go another one because our, our negative from Nomad is going to be so, so problematic. Uh, and then we'll step out here and we'll read for a bit. I, we should call the episode. So, yeah, containers still an issue. Again, I would stress that this is still totally playable. Again, you know, I have faith in the dev team and whatnot. They're going to get things sorted out. You know, it might take a little bit of time. I, I know a lot of you are not updating. I've been talking to people who are saying, oh, I'm going to stay on this previous version. I wish I knew what that version was so I could tell you, but I don't know off the top of my head. I, again, I update basically every time I sit down to record. So pretty regularly I update. And again, I've been playing for probably about three-ish years now. And I've never really gotten to a place where the game was unplayable. I've never really encountered game breaking bugs now there definitely have been some where they will uh like they've had issues historically with uh you know corrupting saves and stuff has popped up once or twice in the last three years um but that for the most part is not not a huge concern because it doesn't really happen that often and i've never really encountered it so for me i've never really encountered anything super game breaking and i again have faith in the dev team that this will all get sorted in the relatively near future. I know Korg has been working hard putting up multiple PRs some days trying to trying to sort things out and there of course are a myriad people like myself uh, who are noticing these bugs and a lot of them are going to GitHub and posting things to, to, to bring them to their attention. I don't know if anyone posted the uh, filling tanks bug. That could actually not be related to containers. That could be something else. I don't know if I'm going to make a bug report. I don't know that I care that much about it. I know I should, but like I hate, it just takes time. So, and I never know if it's like my own fault. Like maybe, maybe it said 50 whatever liters and I just wasn't reading it right. I, you know, I always never really know. Um, but for now, that's going to do it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I will be back with more in the near future. But for now, that's going to do it. So I'll see you next time.